And then I just like to represent women by being very loud, very proud. Um, and when I personally come across these situations where I am sort of verbally abused for being a woman in gaming, I tell them how I feel and I'm not quiet about it. So yeah, that's sort of the way that I let people know where I stand. Uh, my name is Meg. You might know me as Meg Sounds Like Egg and I am a content creator for Fnatic and a host for Charlotte Tilbury. Um, while joining uh, the gaming industry, I, you know, definitely saw a lot of issues uh, with inclusivity and diversity. Being a woman, for one, which is an underrepresented uh, sort of role. There's not many women in the industry. There are more now post-COVID. Um, but yeah, saw a lot of sort of verbal abuse online for being a woman in gaming. And I was like, why? This is very strange. And then I started to take an interest in it. Uh, and it's sort of become a passion to now make sure that, you know, uh, women are represented in the industry correctly, as well as marginalized genders. Um, and yeah, we definitely deserve a space and a voice. So I wanted to be that for women. Um, so a lot of it sort of off the live stream is done through Twitter. I will talk about any uh, talk about anything that I don't uh, agree with. If there's anything that comes up where I feel like women aren't represented correctly, I will call them out. Um, Twitter is sort of a platform that I think you know I've definitely become quite known for being vocal on, and definitely I'm not the biggest fan of some people. Um, and they're not the biggest fan of me uh, because, you know, I definitely make it very clear where I stand in the industry. Uh, then on my live stream, I like to make it a safe, open space for people to come and talk um, if they have sort of had any issues in gaming, if they've had any sort of horrible situations where we can kind of talk about maybe ways that they could overcome or deal with those situations in future. And then I just like to represent women by being very loud, very proud. Um, and when I personally come across these situations where I am sort of verbally abused for being a woman in gaming, I tell them how I feel and I'm not quiet about it. So yeah, that's sort of the way that I let people know where I stand. Um, well, I have a very tight knit community. We're super welcoming. And um, a lot of it is just sort of through things that they tell me. Obviously it's, very sort of difficult when someone comes to you and they're like thank you so much for making me feel like I have a voice as a woman because it should be normal but you know just through hearing um, from people that things that I'm doing is impacting them positively that's kind of how I get uh, feedback that the way that we are sort of conducting ourselves and doing things as a community is working and helping people positively um Obviously, I'll make mistakes. I'm a human being. I'm not perfect. Like sometimes I'll definitely say the wrong thing or I'll mess up. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's all it's never anything too horrid. And, you know, being human, I guess, is what makes people want to come and watch me more because they know that they don't have to be perfect. And as long as they are implementing positive things um, and doing the right thing at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Um, as a woman, you're sort of damned if you do and damned if you don't. So a lot of the times, you know, opportunities that I will get, people will say, I've only got it because I'm a woman and uh, they need somebody to represent and they do. Um, so, you know, I definitely like to take as many opportunities as I can that are offered to me so that I can represent women positively and uh, sort of be a face and a person that women can come to if they have issues or any problems. So, you know, I'm super happy to take those opportunities and I think you have to because... I want to represent women. I want to be someone that they can look to in times of difficult sort of periods and when they feel like they're struggling as a woman in the industry. Um, personally, every time I log onto the game, I pretty much feel marginalized. Uh, there's this ongoing feeling of if I perform badly playing a game, because I play uh, a game called Valorant to quite a high level, if I have a bad game, uh, I can't just have a bad game. You know, it's because I'm a woman, it's because of my gender. Um, and I feel like every time I have a bad game, I'm letting down women, um, which shouldn't be the case. I'm allowed to have a bad game. Sometimes I'll play like poo. Sometimes I'll play really well. That's just being human. It's the same for everybody who plays the game. Um, so that's sort of a way that I guess I feel uh, quite casually marginalized because it's this common thing that women are boosted and that they uh, had to be carried to be where they are. Whereas I got to where I um, purely through my own skill and yeah that's definitely a way that I see it in everyday life um, bigger pictures would be uh, sort of 
when I do things that are a big achievements, big accomplishments, there's always a few comments here and there that are quite misogynistic and are not the nicest things to read, but luckily they don't bother me too much. So yeah, um, I think they're really important because they're representing people who need to be represented. They're bringing opportunities to the space for women and marginalized genders and LGBTQ plus people when we really need them, you know, opportunities to network, find safe spaces, try new things, um, and literally just exist in the space and also have equal opportunities brought to them. Um, so something like this is really, really important in my mind because you have uh, lots of different people represented, speaking from their voice, from their experiences, um, and letting people know that they're not alone and that you know there is safe spaces out there that they can go to if they're having issues. Um... I see things in the future being quite positive. I feel like I don't know if this is just because I've surrounded myself with like-minded and good people, but I, I do hope it's positive. You know, there are m more people now focusing on representing people correctly and, and uh, getting the information from those who know it and uh, sort of platforming voices that deserve it. So, you know, I am already seeing a lot of change. I think for me personally now, uh, we have to sort of get rid of all of the negative kind of connotations and criticisms towards women and marginalized genders in gaming, start holding people accountable when they are spreading misinformation and hate. And also companies need to start investing in the same way that they would have uh, male teams 10 years ago when they didn't know if things were going to work out. You know, I think now is a time where uh, we see that development and investment put into women and marginalized genders um, the same way that it was for men when gaming was new because essentially that's how it is for us now we are coming into the space 10-15 years late and we now deserve that investment and that time that has already been given to men in the industry um, I think it's mostly community driven I think communities are a very big part an important part of gaming like if you don't have somewhere where someone can go and talk uh, with people who are dealing with similar stuff um, they're gonna struggle um, because a lot of people in the industry now uh, who are looking for spaces are younger maybe not as confident with approaching people socially um, and can develop those social skills through communities and by talking to people who are dealing and experiencing similar stuff um, so I think yeah creating communities networking opportunities uh, ways to learn valuable social skills and develop uh, sort of ways of uh, dealing with issues uh, that suit themselves are very very important and I think you know just through creating gaming events that appeal to different communities and are sort of put in place by those who get it uh, will make a huge difference. Um, it feels amazing you know I've always loved talking to people um, I feel incredibly privileged uh, to sort of be here speaking on behalf of uh, women and uh, it's just amazing to see uh, lots of different voices uh, being represented and uh, the diversity that this sort of panel brings and the information that this can sort of, uh, that is shared through something like this that can then help other people in the industry to do better and do the right thing. And yeah, I feel incredibly privileged, privileged and happy to be here.